called uh, Improvements that we've been working with here at HSN, and they do just that. They take uh, regular situations and they figure out how to make them better for us. One of the problems that I've got in my house and in my uh, shed is I have all kinds of different tools, right? I got a shovel out there, I got uh, metal rakes, I got regular rakes, I got a hoe out there, I got an edger, and all those things basically just all sit sort of kitty cornered, leaning against one another. It's unorganized. Well, Improvements said, why don't we come up with a tool rack? It's called the Garden Tool Rack. It's actually on wheels, so this guy will slide around back and forth. There's built-in casters underneath, and it allows you to store all your favorite tools, either in the slots or down into the little holes in the center, and they all are snugly put there, so you can store them in your shed. Look it, that is brilliant. Store them in your shed like that, and you'll have them when and where you need, but the other nice thing is you can actually port them outside and take everything that you need all at once and have it all organized. Tim Wilkins, my very good friend. I'm here to improve your life, Hi, guy. buddy. You always do, Tim. You always do. Listen, before we get started on this, because this is a really cool, and whether you guys or gals out there, if you're a gardener, must have. Home person, you know, you, know, you like to fix up around the house, you have to have. But Tim only brought in 650 of these, first come, first serve. So very cool. Okay, we're not doing it justice over there because there's about 10 tools over there. This holds up to 37 Mm -hmm. of your tools, your electrical cord. It's got a spot on the end for your weed eater, your leaf blower. Mm -hmm. This is everything right here. And like you were saying, my, my house, I don't have a shed, but my garage is a disaster. Yeah. It's got those things over in the corner. You trip over yeah. them, they hit the car. And then worse than that, they've always got the grass and the dirt that I'm dragging in from the outside. Yeah. I'm getting hollered at for it. Mm -hmm. So now I take this to the job. I take this out where I want it to mm -hmm. go. I hose it off. Yep and bring it back in, and there is everything. Now I'm not trying, if you've ever grabbed, I, I was bringing in a couple of the shovels and things today from mm -hmm. my house. Mm -hmm. Two shovels and a rake. Yeah. I look like one of those funny home video shows. I'm falling all over the <laughs> right. place. It's downright it's clumsy. It's what clum it is. Well, yeah. I, I'm not helping yeah. it matters either. No, well. But it was a clumsy thing, and to do that now, you take your whole job <laughs> out yeah. to the yard with you, it's that easy. And, and look at all the different spaces. You'll have more than probably uh, the number of tools that you have, but I'm always a fan of that. I'm like, give me more room, give me more space. Uh, for the big, heavier tools, you know, on the poles, you can actually stick them right down in there. These have a little device which actually, uh, it's like a little spring in here that kind of closes them on like a little gripper. Kind of grips. And yeah. You, you'll see, people will buy these. I really mm -hmm. want to show what the tools yeah, are. Yeah, come here, on guys. over here. We'll slide over idea. and give it a, well, show me it in action. I will show you the action. <laughs> so, like, this one's really snapped in here good. I'll mm -hmm. move it to the front. This is a wick. You and I were talking about this. This is an edger. Mm -hmm. That's downright deadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that snapped up somewhere. A friend of mine was just saying this morning, she and her husband bought one mm -hmm. that goes on the wall and they bought four different things that you had to buy separately. Mm -hmm. $70 by the time they put it all together for yeah. just those four slots. Right. Now you've got a place for your shovel. You've got a place for your weasel thing, this cultivator. Yeah. This is wicked. I don't want this falling over every time <laughs> I, I go to get something out of the garage. You don't want to step on that accidentally. Here's your spot. You know what I like too, Tim, is that they're, everything's off the floor. That's one of my big pet peeves is having stuff. Because that rake, you know, those things you step on, it comes, hits you in the head. It's like the old Three Stooges Whoop. movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, but everything is up off the floor. So anyway, go ahead. So, Keep so going. now you continue to go through this. The rakes pop in there as well uh -huh. and hold nicely. This rake is just darn right tight. Mm -hmm. You got your little scrub rake on the other side that's snapped in. I'll unsnap mm -hmm. that. It snaps right back in. But like you said, the fact that they're up off the floor, yeah. this is where any dirt, dust, all that dirt yeah. brush that I'm bringing I'm in. I'm going to slide it this way because I really want everybody to see how much space it takes up looking at it. Look at how nice and organized that is. If you're looking in your shed and you're looking, maybe one corner has some rakes in it, the other corner has shovels in it, extension cords which are all over the place and unorganized. Look at how nice and organized this whole tray. And remember, you put this right into your into your workspace, right into your garage the, or your shed. Or your shed. Keep your yeah. shed nice and neat. Sheds are usually, you, you have such limited space. The great thing for me though, guy, is being able to just Take that outside yeah, and hose it rinse off. it off. Now I'm not getting hollered at for all the leaves and grass I'm dragging mm -hmm. into the garage every week. There's a little shelf on the bottom, like a little, it's almost like the little deck down there where everything is hanging out, and they put ridges on the bottom so everything stays where it's supposed to stay. There. Obviously, whoever made this really, re really got it. It's like, okay, organize the tools, be able to wash them off and keep them clean, be able to port them from indoors to outdoors. And another right? thing they thought of as they thought of everything, two things. Yeah. They, they put locks on these front wheels so that you can lock this you can down. lock and the caster. Sliding all yeah. down, you're locking your casters. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's one locked. Once that one's locked, now it's there it and anywhere. it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And the other thing they thought of as I unlock the casters, 
is to swing this around, a place for your, your leaf blower, your mm -hmm. weed eater that we all yeah. have now, and they've even got a rubber lock in there as well. So once you put in. that thing in there, now you've got it locked down. It's everything that really improves that garage area or that shed yeah. where all of your outdoor tools go. This is brand new, and uh, we brought it in for the new uh, upcoming season. I know it's still a little bit early in the gardening season, but you know what? If you've got if you've got shovels for shoveling snow, or if you've got rakes for raking out areas of your yard, now's the time to get uh, loaded on board with this. We only have well, now we only have 600 left. So if you'd like it. Handful to go around, brand new product, just brought it out. We figured, you know what? One of the key things uh, about getting ready from season to season is about being organized, and that's what this does. This was organized. As you get close to gardening yeah. season, even before the stuff starts to grow and live, you this is one of those wicked tools. You need to go out yeah. there and cultivate, bring it grave hard. I think Brave. I saw that move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can take out a land, but you can't take out a garden rack. Thank you. That's insane. So, so that goes right there, and now that is no longer in an area where yeah. you, your wife, your husband, your kids, your animal mm -hmm. can get anywhere near this. Get all these dangerous implements out of the way and get them organized and nice and neat, guy. We, we've only got about nine or ten things on here, but as we said, you can put uh, 20 large tools in here and about another 15 to 20 medium-sized tools, all organized right inside here. Everybody should have one of these in their garden area, or uh, like I said, I, I actually, I don't have a garage, so I actually have a shed. I built a shed outside. It'd be perfect for that. When you put this in here, it does. It holds up to 37 implements, up to 150 pounds, mm -hmm. guy. And when you put the heavier stuff, like the shovels, it actually secures the base more. So more of this yeah. thought. They say it can be put together without tools under five minutes. It mm -hmm. took me two, and I'm not going to put things together, and made in the USA. Yeah, you can make this right. You can put it together very quickly. These are the types of deals. I got about 500 of these to go around if you'd like it. Easy, easy to get organized. You just have to have the right stuff. I also like the fact that, you know, having this stuff hanging up on a wall, especially this one, Oh, the, <clears throat> I don't think I want that hanging anywhere just in case it happens to come down accidentally. Unless they try to come take our land guy. <laughs> exactly, my That's friend. another one. This one of the lords comes around. This have to take care of them. <laughs> you got it. Us surfs are going to rise up yes. with these edgers. This is another thing. This is a, a weed getter of some yep. sort that mm -hmm. pulls out and screws around. And I don't want that anywhere. And you want that to just snap nicely in there. Well, and it's because it's the perfect height because whether you know and some of these smaller tools uh you know you may have depending you know some shovels you'll have is which is a little hand shovel you'll have tall ones they accommodate even the really long uh, handles on these all right 500 or so remaining we have it on three payments you can get it home brand new i have yard work um, you my good friend yes he can roll his way out of here tim's coming back at four four o'clock four o'clock good to see you nice to see nice you job. nice job all right, listen, we got Spotlight coming up, and then I see my buddy Luke Caputo. He's over there. He's got the dual saw. Please stick around. You